What's up, my friends? It's your friend Watchman Velador83, and I'm coming at you with a new video. And today I want to talk about the fall of America. This great country that we live in, that started off biblical principles, godly principles, and how slowly but surely Satan and the powers that be are literally destroying this country from within throughout social engine social engineering TV shows social media everything that's in everything that's cool now is what's destroying this country and as many great empires Let's take the Roman Empire to begin with. Let, if you know, if you study history, why is the reason why the Roman Empire fell? You know, and if take a look at what this country is going to, and you'll see what I'm referring to when how this great once great nation. It's just declining. And a couple of videos back, I did um, the the Economist cover for the world in 2016. And one of the things that I notated was the flag of the United, the United States of America. As you can tell, it's changed. You see a lot of colors in there, especially more pronounced the gay flag. And is this a sign that there's a dramatic change coming to this country? I'm not sure. I'm not saying that it is a great change is going to happen. All I'm saying is let's keep our eyes open and see what's going on in the social environment. And you'll see that everything that we are starting to see socially wise it's leading to that effect. In my opinion, and I've said it many times, once, and, and, and this, I'm coming from, um, I like the Bible, I read the Bible a lot. Well, not a lot like I used to, which I need to go back into that. I haven't been on fire for God like I should. And I need to go back reading my Bible, but you've seen many times, when Israel, which in those times Israel was a, a great, a great kingdom, but every time Israel forgot about God and kicked out God within their own society, God's judgment came upon the land of Israel. And that's what's um, scaring me about the United States. And if you think about it, the United States is uh, the most powerful country up to this point. Everybody looks up to the United States. Everybody that migrates to this country migrates because of the American dream. You know, because um, they see the United States as a world power. But as the country started being godly, being great. Now, slowly but surely, this country is starting to to forget about God, to let God kick out God, and like I just said, look how it turned out for Israel, Sodom and Gomorrah, some of the empires do, during Daniel's time. When you kick God out of your out of your system, or when you never had God to begin with. God's judgment fell upon those lands. And then we see slowly but surely also the president, the president that we got has been tram trampling all over our constitution. All over what our founding fathers wrote and had and planned for this great nation. Now we see it being destroyed slowly 
But surely, I mean, you don't have to, for me, you don't have to let me explain that. I mean, you see it every day. If you follow the stuff that I follow, the stuff that I talk about, you know what I'm talking about. All this executive orders, all this not following the Constitution. I mean, and that's bad. That's really bad news. Because let's, let's, let's think about it. Now that all this absurd laws have been passed, we are slowly forgetting about God. And one of the main issues is gun control. You know, yes, I'm an advocate for not having criminals own guns. But law-abiding American citizens to take away to protect themselves, good people to take away their chance to protect themselves, to me, that's very absurd. You know, I'm not, <clears throat> I do agree that, again, guns don't belong in the hands of criminals. They do not. They belong in the hands of good American citizens. And now that we're starting to see a lot of Christian persecution, just listen, just look at this meme. We've seen a lot of tyrannical governments. And the first thing they do is they ban guns. You know, and especially now, <clears throat> it's been years and years and... <clears throat> sorry, my voice is a little shot today. Is that we live... In a very, very militant lib liberal government. There's about there's a big difference between lib liberal and a lot of lib liberalism. What am I talking about? Well, one of the main things about that I see nowadays is they want to get rid of the family structure, which it was dominant back in the. 70 in the 50s 70 i mean it was dominant back in the back in those days now we got all these laws transgender laws gay laws homosexual laws all these laws being passed by militant liberals you know <clears throat> and i mean a few years back well not even a few years back during the 50s and the 60s, you would never see this kind of stuff. You know, now we see it all over the place that this is a new normal. Like, you've seen in my videos, the stuff that I talked about, how it's just getting really crazy. Later on, people like myself, straight people, are going to be the weirdos nowadays. And it all started with Caitlyn Jenner, where this man... Decided to be a woman, but like I've said many times Genetically wise you are a man doesn't matter how much you want to mutilate your body. You are still a man and This is how it all, all started, you know <clears throat> We went into now everything if you have a mental issue now, it's gonna be called that it's normal People want to be dogs, people want to be cats, people want to be dragons, people want to be women, people want to be men. Men want to be women, but at the same time, they want to be dragons. I mean, it's just crazy how this country is just starting to be. And we all let it pass by under the guise, everybody has rights. Well, I'm pretty sure that all this is going to come to a point where even pedophilia will become normal because they have rights too pedophiles will have rights and you can put me down for that and you'll see that will happen pretty soon here other than that we've been seeing a lot of riots a lot of with this whole donald trump thing this whole police brutality all these police killings all these craziness going around the world well not around the world i'm talking about the united states how it's just everybody against gay, gay against Christian, Christian against gay, Muslim against Christian, black against white, Hispanic against white, white against, I mean, it's just crazy. It's just this whole thing. 
this whole chaos, man, it, it's just another ploy to have this country divided. Divided we fall. Once a nation is divided, it's easy for it to fall when the powers that be when want to take over this nation. It's going to be really easy. Why? Because all the people are divided about all these issues. And not only that, but you, I'm pretty sure you guys have been hearing about the economic the, uh, collapse that's come in with this whole Brexit thing. Markets are going to crash. The dollar is not as strong as it used to be. And the economic collapse, a lot of experts have been talking about this. And it's coming, folks. The dollar is not going to be the dominant um, currency. It will crash and we will have our dollar crash. And when that happens, another blow to the United States of America. So what's happening here? Like I said at the beginning of the video, I just think this nation has forgot about God. And don't get me wrong, there's a lot of fake Christians, a lot of fake churches, a lot of televangelists, a lot of preachers, in quotation marks, that haven't been representing the Christian faith as it should be. We have all these wolves in sheep's clothing. We got all these false prophets, all these um, prosperity gospel they, they teach. They do not preach the New Testament gospel that Jesus Christ came to the, to the earth to preach. All they talk about is money, money, money. And when, pe when anti-Christians see this kind of stuff... Or you see the Westboro Baptist Church that spew hate. You see all you, you see the Vatican with all these Catholic priests being pedophiles. All these great institutions, man, they are not real Christians. That's not Jesus. And that's the reason why many people are leaving the church. Many people are falling for this new age agenda, Satanism. Luciferian teachings, all these new age stuff, you know, the, the law of attraction, yoga, all this stuff. Why? Because in the Christian church, we haven't had a good representation of who we really are. And the preachers that do, the good preachers out there that preach the gospel, they don't get famous. Why? Because the message scares people. And... I say nowadays, here in the United States, I've been seeing a lot of hate towards the Christians. And why is that? Because I just said it. Because we got false representation from false teachers and false <clears throat> religions. And false religion, just to be exact. They don't preach, like I said, they don't preach the word of Jesus. Like I've said, I've seen many Baptist, Westboro Baptist churches. After the shooting in the gay nightclub, which it was a tragedy, those people were, were innocent. You know, they sh they were innocent. They should have never died. That's a tragedy. That makes me really sad. People did not have to die. But then ahead, you had these hateful groups of quote unquote Christians spewing all that hate, and that's why people are running away from the Bible and from true Christianity. And now, like I said, they are clinging themselves to doctrines of devils. We're starting to see Satanism take a hold of this country. We're starting to see paganism. We're starting to see the the, the, the temple. The, the, the video that I made a couple of months ago about how the temple of Baal, where they used to do children's sacrifice, they're going to bring it here to the United States. Our abortion is just every year gets skyrocketed, killing of babies. I mean, America is dying, people. And the enemies know that. You know, our enemies know that. And once America gets weaker, because nowadays America is starting to be the, the, the laughing stock of our enemies. That's why they're flexing the military muscle against America. 
what are we to do as Americans as in this world full of that we for sure know that Lucifer is the, the owner of this world Satan has a grasp on this world what should we as Christians as Americans as God fearing people should we do because we know God's wrath is coming to America all I'm saying you need to be ready spiritually you need to read your Bibles I know I haven't been doing such a good job of making videos anymore and I need to get close to God I need to get fired up for the Lord again it's, it's coming we are gonna be in some deep 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 trouble people and the main thing is we need to seek our Lord Jesus Christ and pray for this country pray for a big revival of the church for the church to stand up for everything that's happening because nowadays Christians we don't have that many numbers to fight this fight and we need more Christians we need more Christians to speak out against these things we need the church to wake up for what's happening to this beautiful country seek the Lord ask Jesus to forgive you and he will forgive all your sins no matter how dirty no matter how disgusting your sin is if you let Jesus Christ in he will forgive your sins and pray and pray a lot my people may God bless you all go to my Facebook page watch my 83 give it a like over there also subscribe if you're new to my channel may God bless you all peace